There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? It's Mr. S. Warmack back again, giving you another con tribe of mine, or die tribe of mine. Uh, this isn't a lecture, this isn't a speech. It's the way I feel. And luckily, see, here's how I'm feeling right now. The people, I'm fortunate enough because the people, they put that championship belt around my waist. So I'm the people's champion. You got Muhammad Ali in boxing. You got The Rock in wrestling. And on YouTube, Mr. Warmack is the people's champion. The people have deemed me that. They have put the belt around my waist. And nobody can take it from me. Now, I almost see a lot of people run with the ball and try to copy what I'm telling you. Because they are going to do this. But at the end of the proverbial dia, Mr. Warmack, his words have stayed the test of time. If you look at my previous videos, a lot of this stuff that I talked about years ago is happening now. Now, I'm no, no, no genius. I'm just a regular schmuck on YouTube. But I'm just a guy who can relate to the people because I am the people and I talk to the people and this is what I'm feeling. So when you see me, I'm the people's champion. Say what's up champ? So let's go in the video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a very sensitive topic. Well it ain't sensitive because half y'all don't give a shit till after like the, you know, the, the 5th of February anyway. I'm going to talk about do we need or really need like a Black History Month? Do we? Black History Month was founded uh, by, by it was a, it was a celebration. But the founder, what he did is he wanted to celebrate Lincoln and Frederick Douglass's birthday, and it was Black History Week. The government recognized it as Black History Month, I guess, in 1976, something like that, with a proclamation. And it's been a government declaration ever since. But I asked because. Look, during Black History Month, let me put it to you this way. Did any fuckery stop on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter? Were people still twerking? Were they still flashing Google pick money? Did, did any fuck clown shit stop during Black History Month? The answer is no. So why have a Black History Month when the people whose month it is are still doing fuck shit? They're doing clown shit. I understand the point of having Black History Month and I like the idea of Black History Month. My point is, it separates people, but at the same time, it's not my fault if you don't learn about your own history. I think, I mean, I appreciate what he did, like Black History Week. I think that was more appropriate. I think the government did it to please, to please certain leaders, you know. If you, but at the end of the proverbial day, I, I would tell you people, you're your own worst enemy. Because during Black, it should be like, it should, all year you should be interested in black history. What the, what the school should do, the school should have a class that details like American culture. And I mean, when I talk about culture, I don't mean like, you know, like uh, the founding of the, 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 the country, World War II, Vietnam, the, the Iran War, Desert Storm. I don't mean Afghanistan. I don't mean none of that. I mean they need to have a cultural class that teaches American culture. Because unfortunately, a lot of black people. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Especially, I'm gonna get a lot of the, these these crybabies. Well, I'm not really an American. I was taken from my homeland. Let me put it to you this way: If that's how you feel, and if you work, why haven't you saved enough money to go back to your homeland? You wanna know why? I'm gonna give you a minute. Think of your answer. Man, eh, fuck that, man. You, you guys are stupid anyway. That, that, that tell me this, but here's why you won't go to your homeland. You won't go to your homeland because you won't be able to live as comfortable and as nice as you're living in here in America. Oh, you talk that crazy shit because America affords you to talk that crazy shit. But if you know if you went back to Ghana, if you went back to even South Africa, if you went back to Cameroon, if you went back to where the blood diamonds are, 
Get your ass. Your ass be on fire. You know that as well as I do. And a lot of you say, well, I was over there. Key word, was. Anybody can go over there and visit. Like, I can't go visit Joe Berg. You don't know, you don't think, I don't know how Joe Berg is. I'm talking about Joe Berg. This is South Africa. A lot of you don't want to talk that lingo, but a lot of you have hearts that pump Kool-Aid because I won't see you over there. You'll stay, hey, I ain't going to lie, I'm content with America. I'm an American, whether you like it or not. And all this slave talk, look, it's at the, at the, it's your responsibility to you to be something. If you're taking all these government programs and you wonder why you ain't shit, it's your fault. You, you, you got slept on. The government is trained to, to dull and uh, like dumb down people. If you dumb yourself down, that is your fault. Nobody tells you to drink 40s all day. Nobody tells you to smoke weed all day, smoke crack all day, shoot hair on now, and some, and nothing. I mean, I would say crystal meth, but that's not really for black people. Some of them are our white friends there. So I'm gonna talk about crystal meth. But that's not my fault if you do this. Then here's what a lot of them do, and, 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 and I hate to reveal this one. Then when they become 40, 45, and between 40, no, when they hit 40, because I want, I, I know that for sure, because I know a lot of these motherfuckers do this. They get mad because they fucked their life up, and now they're like they want to start doing something, and now they're like, it's like, well, what's your resume? What you, you know, they go over there, what's your, well, I never worked. They ain't gonna get mad at me. Well, you got a job, motherfucker, I worked. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to smoke crack all day for 20 fucking years. If you want shit in life, you gotta work for it. And that's the key with America. Whether you're black, red, or brown, or green. If you want shit out of life, if you want to have a nice house, if you want to have a car, the dog, the wife, the pick and the whole nine, you have to put a little work in to get it. If you get it, if, if it's given to you, there's something behind that. There, it's the, the devil will give it to you. Your Bible says, if you don't work, you don't eat. Now, look, listen to that. If you don't work, you don't eat. So if that's what the Bible says, then Satan's feeding you. Don't get mad at me. Now, Black History Month. Did, did all the violence stop in, 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 in the hoods? Did, uh, like I said, look, look at his face. Facebook alone, there was fuckery on a, on a, on a daily basis. So I, I think it's good in a way, but I think what it is is I think more people need to be, they need to be aware more often. It need to be you know, throughout the year because now it just gives, well, we do just have a month and it gives people a, a, less, a reason to continue their fuck all. You know what I mean? So do we really need a Black History Month? The young people, young people especially, they're not really hip to Black History Month. They want to learn their history throughout the year. I talk to a lot of them. And they're not taught that. Even during Black History Month, they're not really taught a lot of shit. You know, George Washington Carver invented the peanut. Uh, Jesse Owens won an Olympic gold medal in, in Nazi Germany. Uh, 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 Jackie Robinson. <laughs> this, is the, this is the shit they're learning, so. It's up to us. Like my parents taught me a lot of stuff, and my grandma taught me a lot of stuff. But it's up to you, as parents and the elders, to teach these kids something. If they want to learn Black history, they should be asking you this. So, do we need Black history? And the way we do this to keep with awareness, but at the same time, it's like I don't think that it's anybody else's responsibility but your own to learn about your culture. So, that's just my thoughts and opinions. So, I'm out of here, folks. Peace. That's it. That's him.